What's up guys, we're here at AMC Town Square Chasing Cinema. Mr. James Shoe. Com. And it's not just another Thursday, it's we not. are celebrating Mr. James Shoe's birthday. Happy birthday, good sir. 37. What a way to celebrate than toys. I want to gift you with so many toys. Which toy are we talking about tonight though? Or at least in this video. Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4, the new latest and greatest from Disney and Pixar. Um, we talked about it many times. Toy Story is a franchise One of the greatest trilogies of all time. In both of our hearts. Um, you know, not only a, you know, really well made, uh, you know, pioneering uh, film Toy and, Story and animation, but literally one of the pioneering of one of the most successful and dominating movie companies of all time. I mean, Pixar, uh, hit after hit after hit after hit, Oscar after Oscar after Oscar after Oscar, and it all starts with Toy Story. Um, you know, I, I, I was fortunate to like watch Toy Story at a time where I got to kind of grow up with the character. Uh, Toy Story 3 where Andy's going off to college, I was going off to college that, that summer, so I feel really connected to this whole franchise. I mean, Woody and Buzz, I mean, all these characters that we grew up watching, and of course, even I had toys of, I had a Buzz, I had a Woody, you know, I collected all the toys. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, 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 like that Christmas, I'm sure, because I was 96, I was five years old, so I'm, you know, oh, I mean, 97, okay. uh, so I mean, I think that Christmas I had all the guys. That's I had, cool. Yeah, yeah, so I remember, you know, collecting them all, and uh, so obviously I love these characters, I care about the characters. Bringing them back makes me suspicious, especially nine years later, because 2010 was when Toy Story 3 came out. Uh, but, you know, I think we've come such a long way, and, you know, it, it's given me enough time to miss them. It's not like we're sh constantly making, but still a little bit hesitant. What are your thoughts going into it? I remember when I first saw Toy Story 1 to this day, Yeah, and I was amazed. I was like, wow, look at how cool. This is what the future is going to look like. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it. And See, I was too young to like realize what I was seeing. I, I was blown away because, you know, I grew up with Mulan, Pocahontas, yeah. Lion King, and then they came out this and there was a show on in Vegas, this uh, CBS channel called Reboot, mm -hmm. and they were 3D characters too, and I, I just... You were blown away. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, It is crazy though, because now that you say that, I wonder where Tarzan came out and like, where did Mulan come out? Was it before or after Toy Story? Because Toy Story was pretty early. So they were still doing animation, so I wonder how it was kind of watching Mulan like after seeing Toy Story. It was, See, I don't remember it like that, you know? Yeah. I remember Toy Story being, you know, just it. something. Yeah, it, the movie that kind of changed the game, and then we got A Bug's Life, which uh, I love, I, you know, I care about now, but it didn't hit me as much as Toy Story, and then we got Toy Story 2, obviously, and that was still a great movie. I've never been let down by a Toy yeah, Story. Yeah, exactly. Never. You know, and then you look back at the first one, Randy Newman, like, you know, br totally blasted Randy Newman into the uh, pop culture. You know, You Got a Friend of Me became like this huge icon, um, you know, and John Lasseter became this huge icon, you know, another huge icon. I mean, Pixar made a whole company based on these characters and these toys. Um, you know, part of the, the, the thing is that lamp and all that kind of comes back to Toy Story. So, a huge franchise. Did they disappoint with adding another Toy Story? Well, like you also, I was a little scared, and no, I wasn't disappointed. Yeah. There was, there was some things that, you know, I didn't care too much for, like, I got my Forky shirt. <laughs> I got a piece of Forky shirt. I, I didn't care for Forky. Well, let me say this. Uh, I really enjoyed the movie. Okay. I like it. One, I like. Two, I like. Three, I like. Four, I like. So, they're like, for yeah. four. They're, I don't have any problem. Overall, these are great films, and I love them to death. For new viewers, they're like, cool. For our real viewers, knowing you avoiding the love word, they're concerned. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If, well, yeah, I mean, I, I love these, these are amazing films. Yeah. They're just amazing films. And then I, I feel good. Like right now, I just feel like I feel good. Yeah. You know, I got my friends with me. I forgot a friend. Your with birthday. Me. You know, it's, I feel yeah. good. I, yeah. I, I, it just, but, but Forky was in the business for you. I didn't like Forky. <laughs> uh, Bo Peep, I love. Yes. Bo Peep, I love. She was awesome. Keanu Reeves. Uh, Duke Bo Kaboom. Duke, Duke Kaboom, yeah. Uh, awesome. Funny. Uh, the, the little Canada jokes. Funny. Hilarious. Uh, I didn't care for Forky and Woody was killing me. Wood, in this movie, he was killing me. In not a good way. Yeah. It was, uh, what do you mean? Like, the way... He just... He, he cares so much about making Bonnie happy, which I guess I should be happy about. Mm -hmm. And he was sacrificing his friends. He was sacrificing... I, I just... It was it killing me. It was hurting me. you. And then that bond, the Bonnie, that part was scary. When Bonnie, or I'm sorry, not Bonnie, uh, the scary doll. Oh, Chatty Cathy. Oh, like the Chatty yeah. Cathy. I don't know if that's her name, but that's what she's based off of. I and think. then the four. Yeah, the, the dummies. Yeah. Those are scary, dog. <laughs> I love they would just fall and then they would just roll and get back up. But I, I as I'm watching the movie, I'm just like, wow. 
that these cartoons are scaring me. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff too that I think that like really makes me kind of special, but we have to technically talk about it in spoilers. But mm -hmm. go on. Uh, there's some scenes in this movie that I thought were real yeah. looking. Uh, there's one part where it's raining, uh, one scene that's raining, I was just like, yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, it's like, dude, there's a lot of there's a, there's, a, a there's an antique store that plays a pretty big yeah. role in the movie, and when we're like kind of outside Second of that, chances. Ant, we're like outside of that antique store. Yeah. It's pretty wild, you know, yeah. like it's pretty wild how real some of the the street and the regular mm -hmm. aesthetic looks. Yeah, and there, or even too when they're looking at the chandeliers. Yeah, it's such it's <laughs> yeah. it didn't look real, but it's just a beautiful the fact, scene. Yeah, I mean, it's just doing the fact energy. of art reflection yeah. and you know all these things. It's beautiful. All the subtlety mm -hmm. is obviously what makes Pixar one of the greatest names in the, in the game. So, but overall, I'm not mad that they made this. I enjoyed it. It's, is it going to make my top ten? I already know it's not. Yeah, I already know that. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed Did it. Did you think you would? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. But if you were to ask me also what's one of the greatest trilogies of all time, I'll still say Toy Story, and now I guess one of the greatest quadrilogies of all time, it's going to have to be Toy Story, you know? Okay. Uh, financially, they're all successful. Critic raising, critic ratings are one of the highest rated films of all time. I don't think one's fallen below 97. Out of 400 points, no, 98 is Toy Story yeah. 3. 98 so that And now this one's at 98. 98. So out of 400 points, they're at 396. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then if you ask me, yeah. They're, yeah. they're just amazing films that when I have kids one day, they're going to be required to watch these, you know, and really just understand uh, friendship and all, all that good stuff. The ending, which we'll talk about later, that didn't bother me like it bothered you. Okay. Um, but overall, watch it. Yeah. Um, so I agree. Like, I really enjoyed my time. Um, I was kind of really hesitant. I think these are characters that, you know, are icons to your industry. I mean, they're literally kind of the logos of what Disney and Pixar and what animation has become. We, we've talked about how important they are. So me, I'm, I'm nervous because you're touching, a, like, now you're touching something that you could just kind of should leave as is. And I thought Toy Story 3 couldn't have ended better. So uh, I think, yeah. you know, I, I, I trust me, I really enjoyed my time watching this movie. I laughed harder than most kids in the audience. <laughs> I mean, there were multiple times where I wiped tears from my eyes from laughing so hard. Um, I, I, think, I think the story overall of kind of where we're going is a bit weak. Um, it's, it's a little bit scattered. You know, the first, the first third of the movie is kind of really focused on Forky. The second half is focused on another character and all in between trying to tell the Woody and Buzz story of, of the, this chapter in their life. But I also love how deep this movie is. Um, you know, Woody, you know, Toy Story 3 uh, really showed us that these toys would eventually face their own mortality. Realize that death isn't that, like there's really heavy stuff and in this movie, uh, even some would argue even scarier these toys are realizing that maybe they don't have a purpose and maybe their purpose isn't as fulfilling or maybe they've been living life wrong and I think to anyone and you know especially for the ones who grew up with these these movies I'm sure they're in a place where in their lives where they could kind of relate you know I feel like this movie like I feel like every Toy Story comes and speaks to me like on this you know higher level in a way where it's talking to me about where I am in my life and it's always kind of this good reminder um, but I, I just wasn't crazy about where the characters kind of ended up sometimes so but I mean I laughed I love the new characters. I think Kean Peel did a great job. I think Keanu Reeves, like you said, I think I could watch a whole movie about that character. He had me laugh. The Canuck jokes, the Canada joke, and I mean Canada jokes always get me to begin with. And then you have Keanu Reeves, who's just hilarious. His voice is perfect for the role. Um, all these little new kind of toys, also. Um, and then I thought it was fun that we kind of really built this whole world around this this toy who isn't. Um, anything special or isn't technology related but just like a fork and I thought that that character was funny and you know just very charming I could see how it could be very annoying I could see that character being very annoying but I also see Disney pumping out many a forky shorts in the future oh, do you? oh yes that character will not this will not be you know I mean I'm sure we will see that character I mean I think that character is done like extremely well toy wise so I'm sure we're gonna try to you know tell his story so I think if, if you go anywhere and it's a toy any kid can make exactly you know I mean you could yeah I mean but they're gonna sell the real oh, versions, you gotta you know? sell the real versions. yeah 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 so um I don't know let's kind of get in, I mean is there anything else you want to add I mean um I don't think soundtrack wise it like really hit me like the older toy stories they kind of have like those really great moments of music um but overall I think it's it's a great charming movie it looks beautiful you know I laughed I think overall it's a good heartwarming movie Movie. I think it was just the whole over arc of the franchise that got me. I don't see to me like it's one through three and four is kind of down here. To me it kind of, tar it, it didn't tarnish the franchise, that sounds a bit extreme, but 
I think to me my trilogy will end with three and this could kind of be a, a fan fiction if you will like what if the story continued but I don't think you beat the ending for three I don't think where we end up is worth bringing those characters out of three to bring them they, back um, to this. they were saying recently that they had the idea for this one before they finished writing three yeah yeah I thought that was interesting yeah that is interesting because you know, I, I, it's interesting because it, we talk about, you know, Woody and Buzz, like they kind of are really existent and, and you know, we are, and in, even what I do, we talk about these characters, like, you know, they are something that are, are bigger than themselves, you know, these characters, um, you know, what we know about, you know, the most important characters, they are the ones that go on a journey, we go with them, we follow them, and, and to me, the, you know, the thing about a character is where they're trying to go, like, where is their end goal, and I just feel like Woody and Buzz, um, got there at three. And I feel like this one, we needed to create circumstances t t to produce a story. Um, so it didn't feel natural for me with the characters, you know? And I know this sounds really like hoity-toity about Toy Story, but these are characters I really do care about and I do want like some loyalty to them. And I don't 100% know if everything's earned here. But I guess we should get into spoilers so we can talk a little more detailed. Um, so spoiler alert, <laughs> spoiler starting now. Was there something else you wanted to bring up before we get like right to the very so. end? So what did you think about overall what they did with with Woody I and was Buzz fine in the with format? That. Yeah, yeah, I was fine with it because it's like there has to be a point in life where you just need to go your own route. Yeah, you know, I was okay with that. And then he has his new love. Uh, he's always cared for both people. Yeah. But now he gets to be with her. Mm -hmm. I, I like, you know, and then see that. But that's me because I'm yeah. a sappy, sappy. But no, but you know me, I'm just a sappy, and I don't disagree. with you. My whole thing is, I don't know if we got here naturally. Like, I feel like we had to create this to make it happen where, you know, had this story, had four been in between, you know, maybe two and three, and we kind of moved things around a little bit, and the ending resulted them back together with another kid, you know, maybe that to me works better. But I don't know, seeing those two not ride off into the sunset together was kind of hard for me. And not because. It's hard, like, I don't want that to, I mean, of course, there's a part of me that didn't want them to the, them to split up, and that really was just sad at the ending, but, you know, I also appreciate that, like, that whole other storyline, I just didn't know if it worked for these characters and where their characters were already been. You know, we have to kind of insert this flashback to kind of really build up the importance of Bo Peep, to kind of really make the relationship between um, Woody and Bo Peep a thing, um, and then just, I, I don't know, I don't know if Woody, I don't know if Woody would leave Bonnie like that. I don't know, and I, and I guess that's I, kind I feel of the that question. they earned it because um, uh, Woody was not uh, the number one toy in Bonnie's life. Yeah. Uh, no, you're, it was yeah. more of uh, the girl. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, what was Jesse. It was more of Jesse. Yeah, she, Jesse got the pin. sheriff pin. Yeah, you know. So it's, to me, I, I thought they earned that, and I thought yeah. it made sense. It's like Woody was just an old, to an older toy that. It yeah. wasn't for it wasn't for Bonnie. Maybe if it and was so, a boy, not so, to say that boys have yeah. to play boys girls no, toys no. and girls have to play girls toys. No, yeah, it was any toy. Sure I mean Forky was a Forky was a male, you know, and she was really connected to him. Um but to me and I don't disagree with you, I think with within Toy Story Four alone, I think everything works. I just don't think the Toy Story the, the Woody that we meet at the beginning of four and the, the Woody that we leave at three are the same. I feel like there's an inconsistency there that didn't feel smooth to me. And again, that, that's like really deep and maybe a bit much for some people. But um, to me, like I, I think, you know, if I were Pixar, I would, be, I, I would be shocked for them to leave the toy idea behind because you have so much free reign and there's such a great, you know, idea there of kids' toys coming to life and just imagination in general and what it stands for for Pixar that I would start doing spin-offs and I would just tell stories of other toys. Supposedly I, they're done. Yeah. But you can never believe anybody in I Hollywood. Mean, yeah, exactly. You know, because I mean, supposedly three, they are done. They that's say. what I'm saying, because like three feels so final already to like go back and, you know, um, maybe, you know, maybe in, maybe in five, maybe all we know, all I know, toys, um, you know, our two, our two characters will again. reunite, you know, and I mean, but they, they, don't get me wrong, like that doesn't mean that. When that, you make them reunite though, then you make the world so small. Yeah. You know, because but come on, the world's small already. I mean, the guy was on an RV trip and ran into Bo Peep. I you mean, know, oh, I mean, I'm okay with that. You know what I was hoping? We would see Lotso somehow on the back of a truck. Uh -huh. <laughs> or in oh, Lotso, yeah. in front of a car. I was just, <laughs> just like, like I was just like watching so... Because yeah, yeah. I loved Lotso in yeah. 3. And then when he turned evil, I was just like, whoo! <laughs> I was just like, dang! He's straight. Oh, you know what was violent? When she, they yes. start pulling uh, the Woody's um, yeah. voice box out? Yeah. Like, 
Dang. And that to me was a really great moment too. And and you know, I, they were just moments in the movie. Like I feel like the Woody being like so self. You know, I mean, I I love that. Like I love Woody was kind enough to do that for, and I think it's a good moment. But I also feel like it's a moment that that they know is gonna hit us hard. So I, I, I'm conflicted with that. You know, I get it. Like I know what they're doing, but it also feels like oh, we just gotta hurt these characters to make care them feel something for them. And I think another reason I felt that way too is because when you're with your boys or you're with your girls yeah. or whoever your crew is, there really is a point in your life where you don't hang out as much as anymore. Well, of course. And you do have to, you you meet a significant you do, yeah. other, yeah. a partner, whatever you want to call it. And you go to your super set. That's why I was feeling. I was like, okay, part three, these guys are best friends and they're yeah. always together. We're going to get seizures. <laughs> um, and then part four is like, Time's going on, they're getting older, yeah. he's not getting played with anymore, and then he... It, it made sense Yeah, no, me, and I, get, I, I was feeling And here's it. the thing. I felt and, all that. And me and Samantha had the same discussion as we were driving home. Was I, I Sam or you? Or, you were Sam. Okay. And I, and I get in the confines of this story, it works. But I'm just saying, if we watch, if we really follow those characters, it, I don't know if the consistency is there for It the is, I thought, for me. For me, it was See, there. the consistency of Woody in Toy Story 4 is there. Because he starts off sad. But I want to know like where that turn was. Because she's really she excited to get Because Bonnie. no, he didn't want Bonnie to play with him no more. Yeah, but no and more. That and see, and like, that's why they opened it with, uh, yeah. you've been not picked for three times in a row yeah, or something. Yeah. Something like that. So it's like, this evolution, it, was, it probably started with like, he wasn't picked once and then he was picked. And then eventually it was two. And now it's like, oh my gosh, three times and he's just not picked. I get and it. And think about all your toys no, right now. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah, you, you don't even play with them no more. Yeah, no. All, if all if video games could move, it's like my video games are like, hey, my, my SNES Mini is like, you never even opened it. <laughs> yeah, very much like Andy, a lot of my toys got thrown out. But You know, I don't know. No, I get it. It made sense I just, to me. Yeah. And I was, I was it doesn't make it. It doesn't not make sense to me. It just doesn't necessarily feel right. It doesn't necessarily feel fully on for me. And that's, and that's okay. fair. That's yeah, a, yeah, that is fair. I just, to me, I think it's because three ended perfect. I, I just don't think it was a better ending than three. So oh. I think for me, these character story ends much better there. But and comments below if uh, the Pizza Planet guy was the guy at the car the carniest yeah. my boy. Or, Kim or if I think I think it was. Or if and, there were any other had, Pizza uh, Planet uh, references I didn't or see any other cars. references. And I didn't see yeah. any of the references, but he had the freaking tattoo on his leg. I was like, that's him. Now he's in a I party. Did, I did notice the up pin. The up pin makes a cameo. The grape soda pin. Um, I don't. It, yeah, I think it's the scene when Bo. Dinoco is there. Yeah. Yep. Um, from um, Dinoco from from, uh, Toy, from in Toy Story from Two. Cars, right? Dino cars, oh, cars, 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 cars. Yes. But isn't Dinoco in Toy Story Two? Like yeah, the original Toy surprised. Story, I think is they fight when they get into the fight, and he's like, "You are a toy. You are a play thing," and he's shaking him under the car. I think they're at Dinoco. Oh, okay. Um, maybe. Maybe I, I don't. I don't know. doubt it. Yeah. Um, we did, there is, uh, for those who don't know, uh, before Toy Story, Pixar was built on this foundation of this short called uh, Tink Toy, or Tinker Toy, uh, which was this really, really small, short, six minute animated movie about this Tinker Toy who clashes his symbols. He's like a one man band kind of toy, and a baby playing with them and him trying to get away. That was like their pitch to get money to get funded to make Toy Story. Um, and he makes a cameo in the movie. He opens awesome. the door for the club that, was that, cool. uh, that Keanu Reeves' character's in. And I saw him and I was just so excited. I was like, yes, that's such a great, a great little moment there. And I think he has a line I don't specifically remember, but I saw this movie a bit ago. But um, I, I mean, I, I still enjoyed it. I'll buy it. I'll watch it. It made me laugh so much. I would be shocked if I don't revisit it. Um, but you know, to me, my trilogy is the three, you know, I guess it's like the prequel deniers or like the Disney Star Wars deniers. I guess I just, that, that, you know, that the ending of Toy Story 4 will be my, my princess Leia floating in space. <laughs> Fair. Sure. All but right. If these toys aren't for you, we got another toy. Click on that to talk about right now. Child's Play, the return of Chucky the Killer Doll. Uh, comes out the same week as Toy Story with some great marketing, if you've not seen. Amazing. <laughs> some marketing. great posters of, of Slinky's the toys. done, T Rex is done, Woody's done, and half of uh, I think Buzz Slinky. is too. Buzz is blown. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You know you know what else about Toy Story? I thought some choices were weird. Like I was surprised we didn't see the aliens. Weren't the aliens in three? They were. Uh, oh, they all the, three of them. The, you're talking about ill. Yeah, the, the, the three. No, no, they were. They were there. Oh. They didn't have any movie? lines. Yeah, they didn't have lines, but they were there. Okay. The I didn't background. Even really they, they were in there. Yeah. yeah, they were there. But still, no lines. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, Liam. Only so we many have lines. Tones can go only so far. <laughs> yeah. I re I need to go back and rewatch. I would love to go back and rewatch. Only reason I noticed those aliens is because me and Ashley have this funny thing about the way they talk. 
And so I, I, I did see them. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. He have chosen like that, right? Real nasally. Um, yeah. Overall, I mean, solid stuff. Go watch our review of Child's Play. You ain't gonna be mad. Next week, another toy. <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> and uh, different type. Yeah, different type of course. Okay, well, kind of, kind of like Chucky. Um, we have a Beatles movie, which is a yesterday. Bit weird. Yesterday. Which I never thought I would want to watch that. Yeah. That movie looks awesome. Do you too. like the Beatles? Not at all. <laughs> My Not sister all. loves them. Loves them. Yeah. Ashley I actually have in, not uh, seen fall. too much about this movie. Do you know so. Fall? Paul McCartney's uh, doppelganger, Fall? No. No. Ashley will tell you about him. I wonder if uh, Louis Vuitton will be making an appearance because he does love the Beatles. He did text me for my birthday. Yeah, he should make an and appearance. And I said birthday. to him, I haven't seen you in 80 years. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen you since the you? first Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Go watch our review for Child's Play. Join us next week for Annabelle here at AMC Town Square for Private Theater. Happy birthday to hey. the one, the only Mr. James show. We, we, uh, I love you, and we want to. Uh, we are all glad to be here to celebrate your birthday. It's funny because we're celebrating this your birthday here, and then a Mayan birthday in September will also be at a movie. It'll be a Thursday night. We'll what be watching it? it. Ooh, <laughs> you'll enjoy it. Yeah, that. we'll be watching we it in chapter two. Yeah. So we both got horror movies on our birthdays. So uh, that's kind of just the fun things of what we do. AMC Town Square. Make sure to text this guy at seven zero two three four eight five six one eight. And don't forget, Spider Man is right around the corner, Fourth yeah, of July. It's supposed you to open up big. Big, and you want to see. I've, I've been reading some things. I'm pumped. I'm jacked. Yeah, people are saying Early it's the Spider Man that ever made. There was a little doubt, but that doubt seems to be gone, so yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, I, was, I didn't have doubt. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie, I wasn't jacked either. Yeah, me, I will say that I wasn't, I haven't as been... much as I loved Homecoming, I thought, again, this movie looked like the same mistake that the other ones are doing. The CGI was really heavy, the villains look kind of weird, you know, same thing with the amazing Spider Man. But hopefully, we're all be surprised. AMC Town Square, comment below if you want to come. We'll see you next week. ChasingSim.com is known as the Film Lovers website.